Hey guys, welcome back to UI Builder video series. And uh, in our past uh, video series, uh, we have seen that how we can add uh, EVM data broker and then how we can connect that EVM data broker to our UIB data set to show our components in a grid and list layout. And EVM is a, a composite data broker. We have also seen that how we can add our own pagination controls on the grid layout that we are seeing on front end and how we can connect that pagination with our data broker to change the data dynamically. So uh, you see that guys, uh, here is something missing that uh, when I'm showing this catalog item, or the list of catalog items, I'm not able to see the pictures for some of the catalog items. So how I can do that? See, right now what we are doing is we are getting the values from our data broker and we are just directly showing it. What if, if I have a feature that can transform this data? that what I am getting from EVM data source and that data I can transform and then that transform data I want to show it here. So in UIB Builder, there is something known as transform data broker. That understand transform data broker as nothing. It's the same concept like we are having in our platform is transform map. Let's see how we can work with that transform data broker. So I'll create a uh, new data source instance. And instead of selecting the outer box one that what ServiceNow has provided, we will create our own data resource. And once we click on new, it will ask that which type of data resource we want to create. And there is this that we want that is transform. Okay. So as soon as I click on that one, it will again take me back to my platform. I'll say filter catalog item without pictures. And then in the properties, so what I'm going to do is I am selecting this property. This property is a structure of data that I need to pass. Now in the script, uh, and here's the fun part. In the script, we gonna transform our incoming data and we gonna provide the outgoing data. How we need to do that is I have already written that script here. I'll just uh, copy paste here. And in the script, what I'm doing is that uh, I'm getting this whole JSON object from my data source and putting inside it in, in uh, input. And under that, I have catalog item dot items object. And on this items object, I'm doing a iteration. So using map, using ES6 components, I'm uh, changing the value. What And basically what I'm doing is that I'm getting the society of uh, item and checking if in my assess attachment table, if I have any kind of pictures for this catalog item. If yes, then return the item. Okay. So this is what I'm doing in a nutshell. So I'll save it. There is one more step that we need to do. So what ServiceNow has done is that because this data broker is too powerful, they have applied an ACL for that. Otherwise, anyone can call it. So what I need to do is I need to create a ACL for this data broker by which uh, our system to allow the access of this data broker. So for that, I need to copy the society. So for that, I need to uh, add an ACL and I'll again go back into my access control list. I click on new ACL. And I need to select a special type of in ACL that is UX data broker. And my operation is execute that I just want the execute uh, permission. And here's the fun part that instead of selecting the table here, uh, you will see a small icon. You click on this change mode. Now, instead of giving you a drop down, it is just a normal text box. And you need to paste the sys ID of the data broker, transform data broker that we have created. And you also need to give the uh, rules that you want to do. And in our case, I'm just giving the admin rule and submit. That's the main fun object that we need to do. Now, what next I need to do is that once I click on this data broker, 
so i need to you click on global and select your transform data broker i'll click on this one i'll add this one so i need to add this catalog item data source here from my input and that is at data at data dot event dot data composite with data view and as soon as i do that it is showing me this nice output only the catalog item which are having the images okay so if you want you can add a generic image to all data elements otherwise uh, right now in our example what we are doing is uh, we are just filtering the catalog item which are having the uh, pictures attached to them now once we done so i need to save this one and this output i need to map this output to my catalog item data set now so in a data set instead of mapping it to my evm data source i need to select it as data dot filter one picture dot output and save it once it is done i'll again come back here i will hard refresh it and now it should show only those catalog items which are having pictures associated with them so still now it is not showing us the pictures so let's see what's the issue let's go back to our data source uh, evm data source definition and under that i'll open this uh, view config bundle and i'll open my view config one of the issue might be that we are not getting the picture here i'll select the picture here save it now i need to hard refresh it and now it should give me the picture as well great it is still not giving me uh, again hard refresh this one but uh, what we have done is we have already went into our catalog item and we have bring out this picture from our uh, table but what could be the next action is that if we are not seeing it then i can select my template and let's see if in a template i have mapped that one or not so that picture i'm mapping with this image url and here's the mistake that i'm getting it from related sc item or something i need to remove this one save it as soon as you have saved it so you need to go back into your cat item a evm data source that you have clicked and you have to refresh it sometimes it might uh, sense it as an error and uh, one of the workaround for that is that if it shows you something like that error and it didn't went just uh, remove one of the data element and then paste it again and here in this image url we should see our image so once we are seeing it here so i'll come back here on my catalog page refresh it and now we are able to see our catalog uh, item with our pictures so you see that that how uh, we are doing uh, our transform data broker that only show that uh, catalog item which are having associated pictures with them and in this video we also saw that that how we can uh, do kind of debugging in our evam data broker that whatever data we are getting and how we can quickly uh, see what uh, where our thing might go wrong so that's it folks uh, in this video uh, we will come up with more advanced components and later on thank you